guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com. Today, we're going to do the ultimate non-specific sticker test for our passion planners. So first, I'll go over what we're using today. Um, we have the newest um, of the uh, small passion planners. This one I literally just got in the mail um, and my cat has already attacked it. It is in the Elite Black, um, 2020 dated. So that was the one that came out for this year. We have a 2020 academic planner here in the medium size. And then we have the brand new Goal Setter Gray in large, which if you watched last week's video, you know I've been mostly using for a content planner. And then these smaller ones, the medium and the small I've been using to, for um, testing out my stickers before I launch them in the shop. So I happen to have one of all three. And then we have these stickers that I will be using in my to test today. I have an assortment from Etsy shops. Um, we have EBGB Etsy shop, um, a little TLC, Sticker Genie, and CS Illustrations. Um, I also have two sets of passion planner stickers. This is the first sticker sheet that they ever that they sent out, the holographic. And then we have the women's empowerment pack that you can get in their shop at passionplanner.com. Okay. If you click the link at the end by the at the description by the way, there is a 10% off that you can get if you buy those stickers. Um, we have these stickers that I got from Jet Pens and I have no idea about pronouncing the name. It looks like uh, sous atelier. Um, we're gonna test those out. We have some bloom stickers because I know some of you are former bloom planner planners. These are from Peter Popper Press. I know some of you guys use Peter Popper Press products, so we have those. Now this is one um, I've mentioned before. I absolutely hate Erin Condren stickers. Erin Condren also got canceled this year, so. I was kind of loath to do the Erin Condren stickers, but people have been telling me it's my critique of Erin Condren stickers isn't fair because I've been using the sticker book two, three, and four, and she's up to five now, so the stickers are old. Um, I will tell you right now that I use Happy Planner stickers that are way older than these Erin Condren stickers, and they work fine, but just to make everybody happy, I eBayed, so I didn't actually give her money, a new book of Erin Condren stickers. Because remember, she's canceled, so we went on eBay, got a book. Um, I have this set here from Le Mer. You can get it on Amazon. I have this sticker set here from uh, VC, which is Vladdy Creative. And they are desperate for a review, so here we are. And then we have two books of happy planner stickers. Like I said, these are the planner, their planner basics are super old. As you can see, I've been using these for quite some time. I don't have sticking problems with these usually. Um, but I'm using the two different ones because very specifically the um, original planner basics one don't doesn't have the same size as this one does for some of these stickers. So I wanted to kind of give a Overall, if you get like the color history or any of the other ones, they're mostly deco stickers versus their functioning planner stickers. So those are all the stickers we'll be using today. I also have my handy Westcott ruler that we'll be using to give you some measurements. A few rules I'll be setting in the outset. I did not pick passion planners specific stickers for Etsy shops. Um, we are testing the new Passion Planner stickers, as I mentioned earlier. Um, that's because they are brand new and there's been some questions about how well they stick that have been floating around Facebook. So, and the sizing has also been something that people have been questioning on Facebook. So I'm gonna start with the large planner just to get out of the way. And I actually, another rule that I'm gonna set out at the outset is I'm only testing these on the weekly spreads. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what stickers that are designed specifically for the planner will look like in your planner. This is the timeline bar from my shop that I've just uh, customized for my content creation. 
as you can see it perfectly covers this it actually doesn't go wider so get the ruler out here six centimeters or six millimeters across and six millimeters across so as you can see it if I line it up like that they start and end at the same place because they're the same length I'm trying not to get my head in that frame so here's one of um, this is an old sheet of Chelsea's so we're trying an old sheet of stickers on the new planner so but it still fits what or height wise and as you can see it still fits exactly right, right width wise okay so that's what stickers that are designed for the large planner will look like when you stick it in there so i'm gonna get started with the fashion planner stickers lemons empowerment pack uh, the first thing i'm kind of looking at is these are like really big um Except for these today's word things, which are kind of small. Um, if I measure them, because measuring is always a good thing, right? If I measure them and I need to find where my edge is, it's right there. You can see that at the bottom there. They are kind of like 30 and a half millimeters. And if I'm going to assume my smallest space they could possibly go is in here, which is 42. So these are definitely not meant to fit here, but let's check out the larger ones. So we got a, so they're kind of large. Um, the larger ones in the pack are 52. They're not meant to fit either. Okay. So let's take a look and see what these look like when we put them in our planner. Today's word in the large. I'm just gonna try and go right up to the edge of the timeline here so you can see, get a good idea of what it looks like across. Okay. Um, Let's do the, let's see, how do I wanna not use these? Today's affirmations, bad feeling about this. Today's affirmation, of course it's gonna go across. Can't even, if I do it from that sticker, it's gonna cross right over into the happy planner side. So I'm just, I'm not going to use this side for any other stickers. So I'm just going to take this here. I'm going to start on an hour so you can see how long it is. Like I knew these were large when I opened up the pack. I didn't realize how large. So I don't know if they're make, maybe meant for the daily, but that's, that is too large for the large. Um, I, do we only get five? We only get five sheets in this. Hmm. Okay. So let's try the washi tape strips out. Um, these are also, are these even larger? Hold on. First of all, this is not going to, this is too large. I don't know, it's exactly the right height to go across here. But as you can see, it doesn't make it all the way across. Um, and now we'll test stickiness. Let me get a spatula tool here. Because that's the thing, um, you can lose some stickiness if you are just kind of picking at it, getting it up. If you use a spatula tool like this, as you can see, you can usually get, you can usually reuse them. So it's still pretty sticky. Um, still pretty sticky. So let's start it here. And this one, holy crap. This 
this washi tape strip is even larger than the daily affirmation box. And that's me resticking it. So we'll see if that curls up or not. Um, let's check these other washi tape strips. This, oh, I think I may have figured out where this one goes. No, yes, yes, maybe, 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 maybe. No, <laughs> I thought I found one that went in the large. But we have, what is this, like seven centimeters? Or seven million? I always say centimeters, I mean millimeters. Yeah, we have about seven millimeters. If you line it right up with the edge here, it is seven millimeters high, so it's perfect, perfect height for a space of infinite possibility. Seven meters, seven millimeters too short. And just so you know, this bar is the same as going across over here. So it's not like it fits there either. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I, I can already tell they're not gonna fit the medium in this small. <laughs> but we'll keep going. So that's those. These are deco stickers, so I feel like it's kind of silly to try them in here because some of them were going to totally fit. Some of them are going to be too large. Um, it's kind of obvious. What I'm going to do with these, though, I'm going to test out. Someone was complaining that they didn't stick to the covers. So I'm going to try them on all three of the covers. This is the newest, the Gulf Sutter Gray. So let's see how well that sticker is still sticking at the end of this. But I do have these stickers. But I do have these stickers, um, which are also passion planner stickers. I totally just remembered those. So let's try these out. They are too big to fit in the time slots. FYI, I think these are these are even smaller width wise than today with word stickers. And we'll start at four thirty. Okay, it's the remember sticker. These little arrows, I think you could probably use in the large to flag something. Like if you wanted to flag five thirty as a time to do something if they weren't too tall, that could work. So I think that would be a good use. And these, obviously, also, let's see what happens if we join them together. If we join them together, these you could use, okay, so you can use the little flaggies. If you do one here and one there, it kind of sort of works. So you could use that you're just gonna, you know, lose about an hour's worth of time there, but you could totally do that. And let's put this to-do list sticker in here. Um, I've run out of room to test all these out. I'm gonna stick this right on top over here. Yep. Okay, so those are all the passion planner branded stickers for in in remember they only come in one size passion planner only does one sheet of a full size so that's their various sizes in their packs and how they fit in their own planner next one we're going to do is going to switch up to happy planner i've used these in the past so shouldn't be I'm not once again i'm not going to test the deco stickers I am going to test the, this is from their planner set. This is one of their little testy flags. Start at the top, their little flag thingies. Doesn't go all the way across, takes up an hour and a half time. Um, this is, once again, this is from their plain planner pack. This is their to-do list. It's huge. Feels so huge putting this in here. I'm gonna have to be a little less uh, 
Well, I don't know what the word is here. I just have to do a little less uh, with the uh, stickers. There we go. So that's their checklist sticker. So kind of lines up with these boxes here. Yeah, actually, no, it does. It lines up here, 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 here. So you could do like task, skip a space, task, skip a space, task, skip. Okay, that, that could work. That could work. Um, let's go through. We'll do one more from this set. Actually, I'm going to do two more. I'm going to do this payday sticker because I want to see if this will fit anywhere. I would specifically use this in the today's focus section. It's going to be way too big for that. But just to give you an idea, that's what that would look like. Their little payday sticker there. Um, obviously, you could use it over in this corner so you wouldn't cover up where it says today's focus. And then the last one I'm going to use. Actually, we have a few of these boxes in the other set. So I'm going to skip that and I'm just going to go. Let's use their step tracker. It's kind of wide, but is this going to fit? Let's see how does this fit? That uh, overlaps a little bit with the to do list, so I can't stick it there. That's basically about the same length as this is at least very consistent. The steps tracker sticker is about the same length as the, in fact, I think it's the exact same length. This dinner date sticker here, if I put this right at the end there, yeah, those are the, these two stickers are the same length. So there's at least some consistency in these. Um, as you can see, it's just going to be huge in your planner if you use those. Um, like I said, I'm going to ignore deco stickers for this purpose. Because we're really just trying to see how things fit. I'm going to move over into one of the... Now, this is an older book here that I got, like, I want to say three years ago when I had a large. This is the more recent Happy Planner one. I don't think they've really changed their uh, sticker sizes. Um, let's see. I'm never going to use this one. Like, that to-do list and that to-do list looks real similar, so... We take their deco sticker and we just pop it in here. It almost fits. It just, you got this little kind of edgy thing here happening but that almost fits. So that's pretty good. Um, let's see. I got this ginormous sticker. Should we test this? Let's test the ginormous happy planner sticker. It does not fit across this box just so you know and that's pretty much all of the sizes um, this one is the same width as this so you know it's not going to fit across there um, it's going to go across that yeah so this is what happy planner looks like with their stickers their functional stickers let's move on to Erin Condren um, I'll show you the old stickers that I was using. In fact, I'm going to use... Should I use a deco? Oh, no. Here we go. Here's some I'll never, ever, ever use. Let's grab this mustardy colored one. This is from kit book three. As you can see, as soon as you pull it up, it curls. Which is not... A, that's never a good sign. And I'm going to just put this first one down here right at 1030. So and I'm going to write right on it. This is the first sticker. Just so you know, you can keep kind of an eye on our time here. Uh, that one does not fit across all of the with the this this sticker, this sticker, same width, this, this, same width. Um, this was the cover for the monthlies here. So just to give you an idea, that's what the Erin Condren's look like widthwise. This is the newer sticker set. I said that I grabbed off of eBay. 
You can find everything on eBay. Um, trying to find one I won't use. I won't use these. Okay. I hate, by the way, these books. They fall apart pretty easily, as you can see here. Oh. That's been my experience with all of the Erin Condren books. They just kind of crap out. It, 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 I feel like it's just a general quality issue with the Erin Condren books. What are you going to do? All right, so I'm going to test out one of the newer stickers. Again, got the roll-up thing happening. Start at 8.30. I didn't get that quite right. That one's longer. It still doesn't fit the whole width, but if you centered that, you probably it probably wouldn't be terrible. Um, cool. So there's that. These little flaggies here I can use for the top. Oh, and there's a little narrow one. Can't wait to try that out. There's one of the flags. And then this little narrow guy here, he's new. I feel like their new pack has a lot more deco stickers than uh, the old one did. Also seems to be slightly better made on the new ones. So here's this little guy. He's a little hard to rip out. He fits almost exactly in the hour timeline. In fact, if you let's get this guy lined up, if you look, he here's the where the timeline ends and you can just see a smidge of the sticker underneath. So it's just ever so slightly too big. Um, if you're measuring, then we have about, yeah, they're four and a half, four and a half, yeah, four and a half, um, yeah, four and a half millimeters. And then the Erin Condren's are five, which is why they don't fit, because it's just, those are five, four and a half. It's very, very close. Um, let's do this for the bar. Do you see this? This is ridiculous. It's not as tall, so you're gonna have black showing up. Okay, there we are. There's the Erin Condren in my planner. That's, you're gonna have, you had seven millimeters extra with the uh, Passion Planner with the Erin Condren. You're gonna have like 35 millimeters to deal with. Um, what I did, the year I bought these for my large is I put them over on the work to do and I cut them short so I had I could use one of these for one of these so just kind of as an FYI um and yeah so I'm kind of interested here in the fact that it looks like the Erin Condren ones the new kits actually are slightly wider than or slightly different dimensions than the old kits, which is weird to me. And I'm trying to find a good way to do this without so get my head in the video. So yeah, yeah. If you have one of the old kits, this is the book two edition. It is not as wide as the book five edition. Book three, I just happen to have pretty nearby, has the smaller timeline stickers. Um, these measure in at five, so they're gonna be the same as this, looks like. Yep, five exactly, perfect. Um, timeline stickers, and you can see they kind of, same problem. Because to, to get this, you have to kind of bend the page and then they just kind of come out doesn't curl as much, so that's a good sign. 
And as you, I don't know if you can see, but this one is already starting to curl up. Oh God. This is even narrower than this one, I think. It looks narrower. Yep. And if we get that, yeah, this one is, I'm not even gonna, you can see there, it's already curling up all by itself. I wasn't even scraping it. All right. Same length, which is important, but this one is actually narrower. The, the seven set, uh, millimeters on the Passion Planner, it's, oops, that's inches. Six on this one and six on this one. Okay, so they're about the same. They're actually the same. It looks, this one looks narrower. So there's the Erin Condren ones and you see the problem. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna move on at this point and I will come back to that later. Now we're gonna move into the Etsy stickers and those I have at the bottom here. Flip it upside down. We're going to start with the CS illustrations. And this is a Friday we're using, so I'm just going to use her Friday sticker. Like I said, these are not from companies. I'm not using companies that do Etsy specific. Or Etsy specific. I'm not doing Etsy companies that do Passion Planner specific stickers. So, not surprised that it doesn't fit. This paper is really, feels really nice, by the way. I, like, I really like the paper. It feels really good to me. Let's grab one of these horizontal stickers or yeah. I'll just do the, the, the first timeline is always a little bit off. So I want to kind of this. It's really weird. This six o'clock is narrower than the 630 and all the rest. So it's kind of weird. Um, so the, the bars for the top for the CS illustrations are six centimeters across, or six centimeters high. So you don't get it all the way. It doesn't go all the way across. Um, it's actually, I think, real similar to the Erin Condren ones width-wise. Let's see. It's 38 and... 38, yeah. So this and the old Erin Condren's are pretty much the same width across. I think this is meant to be a hydration sticker. I think that's what it is, but I might use it as a to-do list sticker. I'm gonna just check it out if I can use it as a to-do list sticker. This comes up real nice, by the way. Um, dots are a little off for using as a to-do list sticker. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be like a hydration or some other kind of daily tracker type sticker, but you could in theory use it as a to-do list if you wanted. Next we have Sticker Genies stickers. These are mostly all the same width. I feel like they're a little variable. And if we do the edge, the scalloped edge here, it's like the same width. I think these are all meant like for Erin Condren um, planners. Yeah. If you go scalloped edge to scalloped edge, you're, it's 38 centimeters or 38 millimeters across. So those. Um, little TLC has these small ones and these large ones. I'm just going to go with the large sticker here which as you can see, goes straight across. So if you didn't, this is meant, I think, to uh, stick in like a uh, HP sprocket image. So it's pretty much the exact same dimensions as, an, as a sprocket image. So it fits pretty much, if, you, if I lined this up here, it would cover the lines here and leave a little space. So that actually, if you're memory keeping, that's a really good sticker to use. It's also huge, so I ran out of room to test out 
this sticker from um, uh, EBGB, but I'll just put it up here. Is it, is it the same? No, it's not the same width as the Erin Condren ones. You know what? I'm going to move hers. Oh. You know what? This is removable, I think. I've tested this before. Yeah. This is the CS Illustration stickers removes. And it doesn't curl. Even after sticking it once and removing it, it doesn't curl nearly as badly as the Erin Condren ones. So. I'm gonna restick that. It did pull up a little bit of the paper, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. And then the EBGB sticker. If I line it up with the edge of the sticker, not the little tail on the airplane there. Ah, it's close to the. I think it's about the right size for the Aaron Condren ones as well. Let's see if we don't if we don't include the little stick tail. Just go the cut edge of the sticker to the cut edge of the sticker. It's also 38. So those are the Etsy shops. And I'll just write in there, this was CS Illustrations. So there we are. All right, next we're gonna go to this column and we're gonna try out this random assortment of stickers that I grabbed off of Amazon. I'm gonna start with the Vladdy Creatives. really nice thing if you're using Passion Planner is that if you have the daily, you can just stick any of these in there. It'll be fine. Um, these are assorted widths. Uh, it looks like the ones at the top. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm trying to find one I, won't use, I wouldn't want to use normally. Here we go. So this is the Vladdy Creatives. Vladdy? Not sure. Um, your width on this one, as you can see, it doesn't go all the way across. This looks like the same as the old Erin Condren width. 36 and the old Erin Condren is 38. So those are all, these are all the same. This one's actually narrower than these. So. That's that one, and then let's try out. Huh. You didn't give me a lot of these little flags, so let me grab a flag. I think the flags are the same width. This is really weird how they cut these. They're kind of off, so it's hard for me to tell if these are even the same width as this. Uh, let's see. One thing I really like to look for is uniformity with the with stickers. Um, so I want to make sure I'm getting like the same thing every time. Okay, here's another one where they're slightly askew, so I'll grab this to do sticker. I don't I don't get it. I don't get why you wouldn't be uniform in your stickers. Whatever. Yeah, see that's weird. It's it's let me grab my ruler. From the flat edge to the point is 34. And this one's 36. Oh, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Okay. These little guys here are even narrower. Just get my spatula tool like way narrower like don't want to measure this wrong 32 32 34 36 i don't get it i don't get it. Just don't, I don't i don't get it these are really, they feel kind of laminate-y. I'm not sure how writing on them will work. Um, something I didn't mention, these here all feel like very matte kind of paper. Um, 
Erin Condren ones are very, very matte paper, as you can see it writes very well. Same thing with most of the Happy Planner stickers. These Deco stickers are plasticky, but I think you can kind of feel when it's plasticky, these are all very matte. Oh, that one's curling up too. But that's the one I pulled up and replaced. So, oh, look, we got this little Erin Condren one's coming up now and this little Erin Condren one's coming up now. Hmm. All right. So there's Vladi Creative. I'm gonna move to the Peter Popper Press. Stickers. And let's see. I was just trying to see if what I've got here that you know, once again I'm not gonna like, ever want to use. Uh, these are also really laminate-y kind of feeling to them, so writing on all of these, I don't know. I just don't know. That is the Peter Popper press sticker, and it fits kind of perfect. Just write on that. I'm worried about the laminatingness, and that's why. If I write, like, this is Valdi Creative or Vladi Creative, which also has a kind of laminated feel, same thing. With our little TLC, oops, that's from that. Hold up. A little, write a new one, TLC. We'll use a finger that I haven't used anything on yet. It's fine. Thicker. That one only smudged a little. A, B, G, B. Tiniest little smudge, not much. Uh, six, let's see, today is the 11th. Nothing. These, this is, this is, these are like writing on a freaking cloud. I love these. Um, Erin Condren, tiniest little smear, nothing terrible. Happy. Let's see. This is one of the fastest drying pens I have, by the way, just so you know. And then here we will have okay. nothing, no smear, no smear, tiniest little smear. No smear, no smear, tiny smear, no smear, a mess, a hot mess. But it's really cute for like deco stickers. Let's check out another deco sticker. Um, if you're wondering width wise, this is 42, 42, same as the width of the box itself. So that's nice. Um, Let's do this one. These are really stiff, thick paper too. Just if you're just decoing. Now this, interesting. This one here is not the right width. That one. Looks like about 36, maybe 35. Let's measure and see. 35. Actually, like, more like 34 and a half. I'll get it. I'll get it. I don't know why you would do that. Here's their. Uh, To this is just I don't even there are so many like line deco y type things going on here. I don't even know where to start. Uh, that one's definitely gonna be too long for there, too short for here. 
also curly, so I'm not too optimistic. Shorter, but not short enough for this. This one is even shorter still, but not short enough for that. I'm not even. Not even. Okay. So there's Peter Popper Press. We'll do Bloom next because I'm running out of room here. These are all super, super tiny. So I kind of feel like, and there's mostly decos, so I'm just going to start with our little, these are also, you're not going to be able to write on these, just not. Teeny tiny. Bloom Tanner ones are teeny tiny. And a little too tall. For our purposes, if you centered that, if you didn't mind losing a little time there and a little time there, that could work. Um, this, oh, it's, it's longer than this one. That's from tip, from the flat part to the tip, it's 29 millimeters. Um, and it looks like, yeah, they're all this, they're at least consistent with their widths, so it's kind of all the same on their non deco stickers. So there's those. La Mer. You know, I'm not even going to deal with these, because these are all deco, so we're not going to deal with those. Okay. We have so many different widths. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start with this one here because it's short and it fits in the space that I have left. And that one is 38. So 38 seems to be the most common size for these and as you can see it leaves a lot of width over there but that's the same as the happy planner um and the old erin condren ones so there we go then they have some different widths from like they have some weird width ones so they have some flags um let's see what their flags look like i'm gonna use this color here Lines are teeny tiny, so I can fit it down here. And the width on that one clearly doesn't fit. It's even tinier than that. Is nineteen? Nineteen. Nineteen millimeters. So that's the large. Let's, I'm gonna leave this open because I wanna see how, these two are curling already, if you can see there and there. I wanna see how much this curls. So I'm gonna leave this open. We're gonna move on to the mediums. One final thought I had on these stickers is, in case anyone's like, well, wait a minute, what about over here? Could my stickers fit there? Excellent question. I don't have a second one of these to put over here, but I'm gonna tell you right now, ooh, my finger ran over that and look what happened. This is also peeling up here. This one, I'm trying to show you here with the ruler is starting to come up a bit. Like I can go over this with my ruler. Nothing happens with this one. Yeah. Anyway, don't you hate when that happens? So 46 across is what this one is ish. 46, 47 ish. This space over here is 48, so you could, 48 by 71, I already had it marked out. This is, I'm going from the edge of the sticker, not the lines on it, 76. If you cut it off, if you cut off the white lines around it at 75. 
So you could in theory put this over here and it would kind of come down a little bit. Let's see, it's 71 from the top, it's 71 from the top. 75 would put it, you can see, you can't even see me. So from the top, it's 75. You still can't see me, can you? Oh, there we go. So from the top down, it's 75. So let's just put this out here. If you were to move this sticker to this space, it would fit width-wise and then height-wise from here to that line there. So you could still see your little quote, just be a little bit of a tight squeeze. Uh, the, the, this week's focus is 48 across um, by 32 high. This one is not, not, I have none of these are uh, 48 across except for this one. Um, as far as the 32 high, Thirty-five for this, so it's gonna to be too big. Not gonna fit over here. Um, none of these stickers would actually fit this box. Uh, this Erin Condren one is the closest you're gonna get, and you're gonna to want to wash it around it. Okay, so move this over for now, and we'll go on to our medium. This is our medium. Let me find. I already have from my. Uh, NaNoWriMo set by today's focus bar, which fits exactly in my write-in sticker, which fits exactly in the time blocks. It's two hours down and fits the entire width. I'm gonna use a Chelsea Brown timeline at the top, just so we're very consistent in what these look like when we test them out. Perfect fit, ta-da. So this is what a perfect fit should look like. Let's move on to our stickers. And we'll go in the same order as we did for the last set. So we'll start with Passion Planner. I already know they didn't fit in the large, so I already know I'm not gonna fit here, but let's see what this looks like. Like, I don't even know why I'm testing these out. Way too big for things that ha good things that happen. Way too big for over there. Oh, sorry. Um, too small for here. You could fit, you could put it down here. This would be a good fit for it. Just FYI. Alright, let's start at 6.30. Oh, wait. Sorry, these we do from this edge because they're so giant. So we got it on straight. There's that. This one, that's some Erin Condren level curl there. That makes me sad. This doesn't go across the full week or full three days, but it's we're getting pretty close to it going across all three days here. It's too big down here. Too small down here. I'm gonna leave it over here. It, Fits a width a height wise it beautifully fits two of the to do spaces. It's just that they don't go all the way across. Let's look at our today's word, which is the other one we tested in the large. This might be this planner it was designed for. Not exactly, it's, we've got some room there on the edge. And let's find our washi tapes. Does it, it does not fit here, clearly. It's just, it's a little too tall. A little bit, just tiny, a tiny bit too tall, because this fit the height exactly of the uh, large. Do these fit? You've got to be kidding me. 
these are two long. I wonder if these are meant to go on the timelines. They're too wide. They're too long. I can't even stick it in here. Let's try it as a timeline sticker. Carl kills me. So if I try it as a timeline sticker, it's, as you can see, I'm going to just show you there, it's maybe, I'd say about two millimeters too wide. Let's see, lengthwise. Also goes right off my page. I wonder, I'm bringing my large back. Hold up. Now that I'm having to think. Eh, did not peel up as well as the other sticker I did. Now that we're having to think here, let's try this on this Sunday section over here. Ignore the fact that my sticker ripped. It is still, if you can see this here, it's still too wide for the timeline. Just maybe like a millimeter too wide. It's, it's a closer fit. And it still goes off the page. So I, I have no idea. And it definitely is ripping my paper. I'm gonna pull it up. So, I'm just gonna leave it down here over my space of infinite possibility. I don't know what the, I don't know what this sticker is for. I don't know what this sticker is for. It doesn't cover my timeline over there. It is too long to cover anything in my medium. I, I, don't, I don't know what it's for. It's again too tall for this space here. So it, fit, it was the correct height for the other one. I'm just going to leave it hanging off the edge here. So finally, the Passion Planner. Uh, we have these stickers that we're going to try out. So our checklist. is here. Still doesn't go all the way across. Um, let's try our remember sticker. I'm running out of room here because this is, yeah. Same with um, a little too thick for um, one hour uh, and a little too short for two hours there. So, and I'm not going to uh, try out the, um, what do you call it? And I'm not going to try out the uh, writing because the writing isn't going to change depending on the planner. And here's one more passion planner sticker because I ran out of length to try it. That's their little arrow sticker, as you can see here. And here it's not exactly a full hour on your timeline. So there's our, our passion planner stickers. Um, moving on, our next is the happy planner stickers. So let's just get like right on that here. Uh, happy planner stickers are over here. And we'll try to do the same thing. So we have a good base to go from. We have our to-do sticker. Which I didn't start with last time. As you can see now the dots are way off in the medium. So there's that. Um, our payday sticker. I do it the opposite corner this time so it's not covering where it says today's focus. And as you can see, that kind of overlaps down to the 630. And then we also used a deco sticker. So let me find my deco from this set here. And we used the dinner date sticker. So let's use our lunch date sticker. And if we put it right here, as you can see, the lunch date sticker actually goes spans the entire width of the 
of the, I want to call it a pro all time, of the medium. So that actually worked out really well. That one fit really good. Now we're going to move on to the other deco. So, oh, I didn't do the step sticker. And we have the steps sticker. Yeah. It takes up an hour and a half. It takes up almost exactly, if I get this on straight, yeah, there you go. And one, it takes up an hour and a half exactly in the uh, medium and goes all the way across. So, so far the planner sticker, this planner set from Happy Planner is really, really a good choice for your um, passion planner. And then we'll do our deco stickers here. This one. I'm running out of length. So gonna overlap a little bit with the to-do list. But as you can see, it's just ever so slightly too wide. Um, if you had a timeline sticker cover here, you could move it over a little bit um, to cover that, but it's just it's just slightly too wide. It's not gonna fit like on a Sunday, Monday, or like these two or these three, but, or yeah. But any of the end ones, this one or this one where you've got that little bit of extra, works, it's good enough. Um, and I did, oh, and I did a large bottom sticker. So let's find another large deco bottom sticker here. Now, I'm just curious, yeah, that'll actually go almost exactly across two. If you wanted to use a large Happy Planner sticker there, it fits the box outside the check boxes here. That's going to totally cover that up. And it goes almost to the top. So I mean, in theory, if you wanted to put this sticker here and then do this one like across, kind of, you could. I'll just leave it. Because that's a really good width for that. And you can see it, it just leaves two at the top, which this sort of fit. So you can kind of deco that. So there's our Happy Planner stickers. Uh, next, we're going to move on to Erin Condren. And I'm going to tell you right now, I know for a fact that Erin Condren fits across that bottom there. Um, try to find once again one I'm not gonna ever want to use. Here's um I was mentioned I mentioned before about cutting them. Here's one where I had cut it to fit um the planner that I was using it in. So you can't just kind of use your slice tool like I did there to cut it. Here we go. I never use these pencils. Um, I, I'm actually, I'm going to do it on a different page so you can see that this, it's a little bit too short. Oh, and the curl, if you can see it curls up badly. It's a little too short, but, 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 but this was, I was real excited about this last year. It is a perfect fit across for either here or the space of infinite possibility. So I'm just going to go over here. one just so you can see that's a perfect fit that's here's the end of my space of infinite possibility here here it is here it's a it's a perfect it's it's perfect lengthwise it's just widthwise it's a little narrow so we'll do one from each book again we'll do the from book one. And up here, and it's a little too wide. It would probably fit better in the Today's Focus section. Is that book one? Yep, that was book one. 
book two. And we'll do one of the bigger blocks. Okay. So we'll do one of the bigger blocks here. And I just don't want to overlap so much. So we'll go here. Actually, we'll do it here because as you can see, this one, which is from book three, is slightly longer than the sticker from book two. And then book five. Book five has these little washies in them that probably aren't going to fit. Yeah, has the little washies in them that don't fit here. I think these little washies are probably the same length as the Passion Planner one that I unfortunately covered up. There's the end of the Passion Planner one. I can see it right there. Is it the same? Nope, it's not the same length as the Passion Planner one. It's slightly longer, but it's still not as long as the original, so it does it no longer fits across in the Book 5 one. That's just sad. That's, that's real damn sad. Um, I'll do a flag for the Book 5 one. Oh. We need the little guy. Need to show you the little guy. And he's this ugly green color here. There's just so many different colors in these. Little guy's still too wide. And he doesn't go all the way across. Um the good space, this good things that happen space is 39 across. So I'll show you what one of the bigger Aaron Condren stickers looks like in that space. It's going to be, it's too wide, just barely too wide. It's too, way too, it's way too big for this week's focus, unless you're going to put it here and then have something start back here. And then it's not uh, long enough for here. So there's that. That's what the Aaron Condren one looks like. Um, okay. Oh, and the little flaggy that goes down. I didn't put that on this one yet. Our little flaggy that goes down. If you do it at the end, it takes up about half. So you could do two across on that. There's Aaron Condren. Um, oh, this was, was this one from pack three? I think this one's from pack three. It was, or pack four rather. You can see it's already lifting up. Friggin' Aaron Condren stickers, I swear to you. Um, is it lifting up there too? Yep, yeah, it's already lifting up there. Fabulous, all right. Uh, next, we're going to move on to our Etsy stickers. I'm sorry if I'm kind of flying through this, but I know you guys don't want to spend all day with me going over stickers. So we'll start with our CS illustrations. Almost bits across. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's just a little bit too short there. It is way too thick. Our word bars. That's, I want to move, move it down because I don't want it to overlap with these other ones. But And you see it's, it's too wide for the timeline. It just kind of overlaps. It almost overlapped the Aaron Condren ones there. Um, and what was the other one we tested out for this? Oh, we tested out the this guy here as if it was a to-do list. And this doesn't quite line up right for a to-do list, but there we go. That's what that looks like. We have the next one we have was the um, ECBG one. I'll tell you, it's too big because I've been using these all year until I made my own travel stickers. That's why I made my own travel stickers. It's too big. Um, the photo ones are freaking huge. 
So let me just move over to this guy here. Uh, this was the Sticker Genie sticker that we're putting on now. And I'm going to tell you, this one's too huge because it's the same as the that one. I don't. I feel like I shouldn't even. I don't even need to tell you that if this was just right for the large, it's going to be way too big. But here it is. That's how huge it is. It takes up. If we go right to the edge of the gray boxes. There, it takes up a lot of room. It is too long for the bottom here. Um, over here, still too wide. Over here. Um, I'll put it down just so you can see it. There we go. So those are our Etsy stickers that we tried out. And the last one is our various stickers. I'm not going to go, let's grab these. This will start with our uh, Vladi stickers. I'll start at 6.30. Almost right to block off like five full hours. Right? A little more than five full hours. There we go. Um, almost fits. It just overlaps over here a tiny, tiny bit. If you kind of centered it, it might work. Um, the to-do stickers for Vladi should fit exactly, I think. Let's take a look. I remember that was shorter than... The to-do stickers for Vladi take up about one hour and fit almost exactly across. So those are excellent. And then these little tabs, let's see where these go. If I put this right here in the corner for the today's focus, it's a little short. Nothing terrible though, that's not bad. Um, okay, so the next one that we had was the um, Peter Popper. And we used one, let's see here. Used one of these. So we'll line it up. Takes up, I'm gonna call that exactly from 130 through 630. So that's two, one, two, three, four, five five and a half hours same as this and the width is perfect so the peter popper press width is perfect for that I, it's going to be this one's going to be way too large because it fits this one going across fits the uh large exactly so now you know how much bigger a large is than a medium and then we had these little okay that was a different set i think yes and then, oh, we tested out the banners going across. As you can see here, this is longer than any of the other ones that we tested. And it still doesn't go all the way across. Same down here. I'll just line it up here. Okay. Let's get a ruler, just make everything very scientific. Doesn't go all the way across on any of these pages for anything. You could probably cut it. That will work out for you. Okay. So there's those. And then we'll move on to, it looks like our balloon planner. And we used this little arrow for the last one. So we'll use the same little arrow. We put it right here. It gives you about, takes up about 45 minutes of your time and doesn't go all the way across, but that might not bother me too much if I was using it. Um, and then the rest, I think we're all deco. So then that moves us over to this one here, our Lamar, Lemire, a little something. And we use the speech bubble in our other one. So I'm going to use the exact same speech bubble. And we're running out of room, so I'm just going to move over to the next date. 
uh, much like this is the same as happy planner one so it's just you're gonna have to use it on a Saturday or it's gonna cover up your timeline and then we use their little to-do banner which is here and the little to-do banner I can put back over here because it is even shorter than this to-do banner so you got plenty of room so that's what all of those look like in the passion planner medium okay so finally we have our small passion planner I put the sticker on the outside so we can test the stickiness of those on the inside I've already put in um, Chelsea's date cover um, which actually is a perfect fit I just as you can see here was a little off here so it's a little off there my one of my focus stickers as you can see perfect fit one of my meal stickers perfect fit and one of my covers for this week's focus also perfect fit so that's what stickers that are designed for the small should look like first thing we're going to do is we'll start as always with our passion planner sticker set i'm going to try and keep it in the same order so we started with the today's word and i'm really really hopeful that this is going to be the perfect fit for the small because it doesn't fit the medium it doesn't fit the large so here's hoping fingers crossed this is going to be a perfect fit okay. okay it is a perfect fit for the today's focus section and then it covers up your timeline so that's how i have to use that sticker I shouldn't say have to, but that's the only place where it really fits. I, in fact, there's a part of me that just wants to cut off this bottom bit or like trim the bottom bit up. But I mean, if you're going to put a sticker, a timeline sticker here, it'll be a perfect fit. So I wouldn't worry about that so much. So today's word's good. Um, let's do this two from here. It's really pretty. I didn't want to, let's use this note to self because it's the same width and I just didn't, I don't want to really use some of the ones I think are really pretty. So this is the same width as this sticker, this uh, gratitude sticker that we've been using to measure width. As you can see here, it fits same width, okay? I'm, if I line this up right here, that's almost two days it's a little crooked but it's almost two days doesn't really matter that it's almost crooked if i centered this heart over this line it would basically take up two days worth of space so i mean i think that would work well if you don't if it's one of those weeks where you didn't like you had nothing to do or something like that um these guys here I was hoping, I'm hoping, I don't think it'll fit, but my hope is it'll fit. Almost. You almost have a sticker that went all the way across there. <laughs> I have no, this, these, these were too long to go across or down the large. They were too long to go across, or they were not large enough to go across the large. They were too long to go down the timeline. These were too large to go across or down the medium. I <laughs> This is not going to fit your small like ever, but for the sake of consistency, let's do this. Ooh, you know what? How about this? How about this? I got an idea. Ooh, we're st we're all kinds of curled up on ourselves here. But I have an idea. I have an idea. It's all kinds of curled up on itself here, but I've got an idea. Ready for it? Will this meet up with its little partner over here? Eh, it's still too long to even do that. Holy crap. This is a long sticker. And it's a different width. 
Holy crap. We have these little washi tapes. Let's see where these guys fit. You put one across. Is it, I don't, it's, is it the same length? I think it's wider than the... It takes up two full days. The, the little washi tapes here takes up two full days and a little more than an hour. I wonder, I'm gonna try it at the bottom here. Let's try it right down here. It's not, yeah. You can use it for two full days, but that's about what you're gonna get out of that. We have these little guys here. So we'll try our remember sticker. Eh, if you move it over, it'll, if you centered it, it would fit. And our task list. Which is already going to be way too long. Actually, I might be wrong about that. I'm wrong about that if you centered it thing. If you center it. And do it right here. Oh no, it's a, it's a perfect fit if it is centered. However, the lines don't line up. So that makes me a little sad. Um. It's, it's if you center it if you center these stickers they'll fit almost exactly in the small but this is gonna take up a lot of real estate and then we have these little flaggies let's try them out I've run out of room here so I'm just gonna bleed over into the side for stickers that fit um, these fit little flags fit one hour that's good they take up more than half on that side and then going the other way uh, if you center them they won't fit but you're getting pretty close you could do some deco stuff with that so those are our passion planner stickers in all three planners I think I'm going to use most of those in my daily. We're going to move on to Happy Planner now. This should be fun. So, let's try to keep it sane here. Do our breakfast date. Ooh la la. Now these fit perfectly in the medium, so I know it's not going to fit in the small, but we'll see. Yeah, it's even too big for the today's focus. So here's Happy Planner. It's taking up about, including the little deco bit, takes up about an hour and a half ish. It goes all the way from there to there. So it's way too big. Uh, okay. Then we had our payday sticker. I know this thing gonna fit, but let's just do it. There's our payday sticker. We're gonna cross our little breakfast date sticker. And then we had our task list sticker. Did you ever, you know, I'm at the point where I'm like, why am I even bothering? Because you know that's gonna be way too long, but let's do it. For cons the sake of consistency, right? Oh my gosh, this is taking up about 50% of the, a little less, but it's, it's, it's huge. So, and then we have the step sticker, which definitely doesn't fit. up stickers of course the same width as this one so it's not going to fit takes up two hours worth of time 
And then the deco. Mm. Deco is even wider. I mean, I, I'm just gonna move it over here. Actually, no, no. That goes even wider. And way too long. So I'm gonna try it over here. This is what it looks like if you try to put it over the, the things that happen space. It's flipping huge. Flipping huge. So, and let's see, how does that take up? It takes up nine hours of time? A little more than nine hours of time? So that's what those are gonna look like in your plan. We will now move on to Erin Condren. And start at the bottom with the banner sticker that goes all the way across. Now these, remember, were the exact right length for the medium, so we already know it's going to be too long for the small. And super curly. So I'm going to do these the same way I did the Passion Planner sticker. I'm just going to line that up. Now this is one that it's the width is right on this one. Remember, it was it was too narrow to fit this um, space of infinite possibility cover. The width is correct on this to fit the space of infinite possibility. So if you wanted to, you absolutely could take this and put it over here and then just cut it for either these or this one here. So that's what that looks like. Um, and then we wanted to do a flag from the set. So take this one. If I start at this end here, you can see it's just way too wide. There we go. That's lining it up with the end of the gray lines there. And it's already peeling here. Um, and then we had a wide one from set three. So, now set three has these little tiny ones that I didn't test out because they're not in sets five or two. But here's what the little tiny ones look like in here. Just, they're not wide enough. Um, from here, we were testing the small like, squares. So we'll go here, this green one. And because I know it's too wide, I'm going, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go like right here into the crease to make that fit. And it still overlaps my timeline a bit. So that's the new width ones. And actually, no, that's not even, this is the set three one. Oh, look at that, it's curling again. Oh, and then we went to set and we'll grab our banner come on what you've been doing from the top so if I do it from here a little more than half of the width And then the little narrow guy. Oh, and we have these little width stickers as well. So here's our little banner guy that I know is gonna be too tall for it because I know what the measurement is for this. So as you can see, it takes up about an 
45 minute block but he is the exact right length. So this little guy is the exact right length going across. He's just a little, but that will fit. And then we have our banner sticker. And we'll start, oh my God, look at that. It's so annoying. And that guy there. Now, I'll grab my ruler. Here's the start. Of the space of infinite possibility line right here. Okay, there we go. The end of the space of infinite possibility line is right here. I just want to kind of draw that in for you. That's the start. It's the nice thing about passion planners that all this stuff lines up, like the little gray lines and everything line up. So, so start, if we put it at the start, it doesn't even come close. All right, Aaron Condren. These stickers are gonna drive me freaking crazy. Um, our next stickers was our, where are our Etsy stickers. And we start always with our CS illustrations. Too wide, but it almost completely takes up the top. So if it wasn't for the width, That'd be a really good fit to just cover up the today's spokes if you're not going to use it. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. Beautiful thing about the CS Illustrations ones, they remove like a dream. And now we're just going to see exactly how like two, the too wide problem is just too wide. Like even if I do it right up to the next one, it just overlaps with the previous one. And that's crooked. Mm -hmm. This is one of the perks to repositionable stickers. There we go. So of course that's going to mean that the other ones are too wide, but I'll put it on anyway. I'm not even going to do the father with the other one. Too wide, too wide. So I'm not even going to bother with the vertical. We'll move on to our EVGB sticker. Also, this one's going to be too wide. Way too wide. There's how that fits. Our sticker genie sticker. Use the little scallopy one like we did in the first one. Way too wide, takes about two and a half hours of space up. So, I mean, now if you have something big. That's how big this is going to be. This is just huge. It's not going to fit. Look at this, this is just crazy. And if I put this down, well, this is the last one. For these. Okay, so that was the, a little TLC one. Now, the little TLC one does have these tiny little stickers. I'm just gonna stick that right in here. So you can see it doesn't go all the way across, but this the small ones are gonna be a much better fit than the large ones. And now we're gonna move on to our miscellaneous stickers. We're starting with uh, VC, Vladi Concept. Uh, yeah. And I know this 
this one's gonna be way too wide. Boom. And they, we also tested out their to-do banners. Does this fit the today's focus? That, their to-do banners fit today's focus pretty well. It's a little, it's still a little long, obviously. Um, if I do the line here. It's a little too long, but if you cut that, you could have a today's focus bar. Like, here, let me do the line. Yeah, if you cut, if you cut the little flaggies off, you could have a perfect today's focus cover. So just something to keep in mind there. Um, and then we had the little tab thingy that they include, which I think will fit lengthwise, but it's just too, it's too tall. It's the right length, but it's just too tall. But you could use it to, as a date cover, except that these are impossible to write on. But there we go. That, that's, we found what their little tabbies work for. Small. So next up we have the Peter Popper Press stickers. I'm very hopeful that these will work. But I already know this one's going to be way too wide. Not terribly wide, it's about as wide as the pink one up there, so it's still wide, pretty wide. Um, we tested out also their uh, their other sticker, which is the perfect fit for the large. So you know, <laughs> this it's that they're removable. So at least there's that. We put this right at the edge of the gray lines, and we shoot it all the way across. <laughs> it looks like that. Uh, we were trying out their bottom stickers here. So let's see. And I luckily drew in the line here. So if we go tip to tip, it is just slightly too long. That's disappointing. Okay. We also had this one that I was curious about, this unstoppable sticker. Let me see if there's one I don't like that I wouldn't want to use. So I'll do this set back into a comeback one. And remember, this one was shorter, we discovered, than the other ones. but too short for our Space of Infinite Possibility Cup. There's those. So that's how the Peter Popper Press will look in your planner, in your small planner. And then we have, now we get onto the Bloom Planner, which I, I have a good feeling about this one. Like, I, I have a pretty good feeling about this one fitting. too long this way but what about let me grab this weekly gold sticker I'll put two of theirs in it's too short that way darn it I thought maybe if we covered up the dates or the times if I go from the gray end it just covers up a little bit so that's what those look like. And then we've run out, now we've run out of room because <laughs> it's so small. It's small is like super small. To so try out our stickers here. Um, I can grab a to-do here. I'm gonna try this to-do over here. This is the uh, Lamar, Lamar. Oh, here we go. I've got space right here to try this to do out where you can still see the time stamp there and it's just still too narrow. I don't 
I don't even know what to tell you. And then we had the little speech bubble that we tried out. Which is the same with, uh, oh, here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I have no place to stick this. I'm gonna stick, this is not Happy Planner, this is La Mer, but I'm sticking it in the Happy Planner section. Just, I mean, it's way too wide to use without the timeline. If I use it with the, going to the very edge of the timeline here, it is still way too wide. The Erin Condren sticker is bothering me. The curl is just freaking unreal. Anyway, so that's what it looks like in the small. Now, as I had said earlier, there have been some people saying that there's problems with the uh, Passion Planner stickers sticking to their covers. So let me grab our planners and see what's up. Here's the hollow sticker on the front of medium. So far, so good. And then the new covers, still in here, pretty good. Oh, let me open this back up. And then, oh, oh, look at that. It's the new, it is the new covers. Look, I don't know if you can see that. It's not sticking to this new Gold Getter Gray. All right. So the hollow stickers stick good on the old black and the old blue, but on this new Gold Getter Gray cover, even if I push it down again, it's just coming back up. And as you can see, the Erin Condren stickers are bubbled here, bubbled here, the corner's coming up here. I'm, this one, I mean, I'm just, fuck it. But the nice thing is it didn't rip any of my paper when I ripped that off. So that's why I don't do Erin Condren stickers. Oh, and that does remind me, in the small, we didn't check out what would fit down here from Happy Planner. So let me go grab the big Happy Planner sticker. This is huge. This is so huge, it's gonna cover up wherever I put it. Like, it's just... Well, I can pull that up, because it ain't fitting anyway. Uh, if I do it from the edge here, it's like, oh, pull this one up too. There we are. Stay! Oh my freaking god. These Aaron Condren stickers kill me. <laughs> it's just curling up on its own. <gasps> Uh, so anyway, that's all of those same exact stickers in the small, the medium, and the large. Ta-da! So just as a quick review, essentially what I found is if you're going to do the Passion Planner stickers, the functional stickers work well in the small, all the other ones are really for the daily, in my personal opinion. I wouldn't use them in here in any of the three weekly sizes. Um, we found that the uh, Bloom Planner stickers work best in the small. Um, most of the Etsy stickers, Erin Condren stickers work best in the medium, as do the, uh, some of the Happy Planner stickers work better in the medium. And some of them will work in the large. You just have to be prepared to have a little extra room around them. Um, and once again, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Um, leave a comment if there's any sticker brand we didn't try, or if you'd like to see these tried out in the Amplify Planner or in the Daily Planner, definitely let me know and I could do a part two. If you want to see a comparison of each sticker type across all three, there is the printout for the handwriting sample from Passion Planner that shows you the columns for the small, medium, large side by side. And that is available on the blog today. 
So check that out to see side by side how they look. Finally, if you liked any of the stickers or tools, the links to purchase are in the description of this video. The link for Passion Planner will get you 10% off your entire purchase now that I'm a Passion Planner ambassador for this year. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday.